Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs> Yodeling man, scurly little lady. I'm a little Cause it used to be wherever I went Whenever I would yodel scat People would yell What the hell is that in When I was a baby child Used to drive my mother wild She'd say I can't shut up that rat That said Let the boy yodel his scat scum bomb it up day Well, you maybe it was my TV spot that made my yodeling got so hot or a quirk and collective mind made my fate to feel so kind. Now I don't understand this thing called fame. Don't you know that it's a crime? Shame people forcing all their money on me. I'd be glad to yodel. Scat for free. Come ba da ba da 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 Howdy folks and welcome to Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, your host, and today we have as our guest the amazing Incredibles. It's featuring Carol Shower on fiddle and Carol and I have played together before in different yep. bands, bluegrass bands and so forth. And Ed Fogarty is I guess the uh, lead singer here on most of the songs. How you doing, Ed? I'm doing okay, Ralph. I'm uh, still moving from your wonderful scat beginning. <laughs> and, uh, and my school with a religious there, experience. With a religious experience. Well, That's I picked right. that song because it kind of fits in the type of uh, music that you guys do. What, what exactly do you call a style of music? Or Bill. What do you like to call <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, we do call it Bill. No, we, Bill. <laughs> we, uh, that was the hardest part about trying to figure out where our music was, but we like to kind of think of it as a combination of uh, some country, some swing, some R&B, and we just like keep it up tempo and fun and good time music that people come out and listen to some great violin and see an upright bass and uh, <laughs> hear some spoons and hopefully experience some of the things they don't get to hear too much uh, All right. anymore. So. Why don't you tell us who else is in the band here? Well, on guitar over here we have uh, the wonderful John Kurgan. Hey! Uh, me and John uh, write most of the songs here for the Amazing Incredibles and uh, you'll be hearing them today. And, we have on violin over here, uh, Carol Scherer, and uh, 
Carl's played uh, with a lot of artists around the state of New Jersey and New York, and as you know, you including play, me. That's right. <laughs> And, and Carol's now taking away Dave, Dave Post on the big, as they, call, as they called it the other night on the radio, the doghouse bass, which I had never heard doghouse bass before. Oh, before, yeah. Unfortunately. But uh, Carol and Dave were doing a lot of playing around, and Dave's uh, really recognized for his upright playing. Uh, and uh, People are chasing him down all the time. And, <laughs> Not for his playing, though. <laughs> no. Chasing him down. All right. All right. So, so, what you going to play for us? We're going to... Uh, Brand new. Brand new tune. A brand new tune. A brand new tune, that's right. This was uh, inspired by a friend of ours, uh, Teresa Green and uh, John. Oh, that's our cassette. And it's, it's on this cassette, is it? Uh, no, it's not on that it's cassette. It's not on. That's, that's, that'll be on our, our next release. Uh, <laughs> which hopefully we'll be getting back into the studio. Some other song might be on that yes, cassette. Yes, thank you. You'll hear some of the other songs that are on that tape today. But, uh, that was just foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> dum da dum dum <laughs> But this song uh, was, uh, it's, it's called... I reckon you're wrecking my heart. It's kind of a little, uh, huh? <laughs> kind of a little moving kind of car love song, I guess. Uh, kind of an auto love song, which is great. Auto love is the, probably what's going to be happening in the next <laughs> century. I don't know, but it's possible. So, uh, take it we? away. Okay. Yeah, man. Goes like this. Oh, 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 oh. It's I, swinging. You were being moved there. I could hear the roos. <laughs> he was moved. He was standing over there a couple I was, minutes ago. Now he's moved over there. I was moving. Yeah. So you guys wrote that song, huh? That's right. We wrote that song. It's uh, kind of the style we like to do. It uh, seems to work for us. Sounds like it came from yesteryear, man. Yesteryear. <laughs> it might have. No, no. It, it, it Actually, it came from Santa Fe. A lot of influence, I think, uh, from Hank Williams' style and a lot of... Uh, older country style music we really enjoy and uh, of course we got to acknowledge people like Dan Hicks who uh, keep it up tempo and swing and we like to oh, yeah. listen and stuff like that so uh, it feels right to us to do that kind of music and from the places we've been playing and the feedback we've been getting from uh, 
people that have been coming to see us. It's been great, and it's, uh, it's uh, apparently it's what people like to hear too. It's, uh, it's we've, all, we've all been playing for many years in various groups, and I know that myself from the people that have uh, come to see us, they really like to hear what we're doing. So uh, we keep on doing it, you know. So. Well, I liked it. That's why I asked you to come on the show. This is true. This is Thank true. You. Yeah, man. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. So we should maybe tell people if they want to get on your mailing list or find out information how to get your cassette or something, where would they call or write? Okay, well, and we can um, show that information on the screen. I believe that uh, as I speak, maybe we'll see something, or sooner or later we'll hear something. <laughs> see something. But uh, if you'd like to get on the amazing, incredible mailing list, um, you would uh, either call me, Eddie Fogarty, at two zero one seven nine eight six three eight one, and if I'm not there, an answering machine will come on, and you can leave your name and address, and we'll send you a, a card each month and tell you where we're at and when our tapes are coming out, and. Uh, also, if you'd like to write us, uh, you also can write to Eddie Fogarty at P.O. Box 593, Hoboken, New Jersey, 07030-0593. Let's give a round of applause. Hey! Very good. Very good. Done like a true pitch man. Yes, sir. I'm trying to make that mail. Keep on, keep on a moving. <laughs> keep those men in blue. Yeah, so that, that would be a great way. We'd love to hear from you. We have our tapes that we, we sell for like five dollars at gigs. And Let's show them that tape now. See that tape. What tape's that, Ralph? <laughs> the amazing, incredible tape. We can also send that to you too, so... Uh, Beautifully There we go. Maybe we can... Look at that. that looks, there we go. That is... Turn this way? Turn it that way. Okay. We got this, it. This is wonderful. The amazing, incredible. Oh, look at that. Nice oh, graphics. Nice. That is wonderful. That's done right. by. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bottom there, but it's believe it or not. That's right. Believe, believe it or not. That's the name of that cassette. The, the next tape will be <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we should play one off that cassette. Should we? Maybe right Gee, now? that's probably why we're here today. That's a great idea. Now <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do one off the cassette right now, um, which is. Uh, a song, uh, it's kind of a, a, I like to call it a slow jazz tune, and if, probably if we could focus in on the bass player when I say jazz, he kind of grimaces every once in a while, because <laughs> he is a student of that. Uh, blues with jazz that overtones, how would that be? This is true, it's a bluesy kind of jazz, kind of tort song, love song, and uh, it's called uh, Too Bad, So Sad. That we feature Dave on the intro as this well. This is true. So Mr. Bassman, whenever you're ready.
matter of time till the operator bought me a dime to bed. So sad, hanging on the corner just to watch something. recover from that now. <laughs> it's so great to be in the village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to take a one minute break for a public service announcement. We'll see you in a minute with the amazing Incredibles. <laughs> For future generations, our country is leaving behind our knowledge, our technologies, our values, and 190 million tons of garbage every year. Recycling alone just can't do it. Keep America Beautiful is an organization that can do something. We have solutions that have worked in cities and towns across the country. What can you do? More than you think. Write to Keep America Beautiful for your free brochure and find out. Host a YFU student, and you can join thousands of American families as part of Youth for Understanding International Exchange. Us here has broadened our perspective in life as well as other people's. He's made so many friends in high school. He's accepted the kids, and the kids have accepted him. Volunteer now to be part of the world of YFU. Call 1-800-RU-READY. Us here is just a loving, easygoing, caring person, and we love him just as if he was our own.
Hey, hey. Big trout and baggy pants there for you. <laughs> All right. That's on our tape too, Ralph. Uh, for those of you. The who tape know. of the Amazing Incredibles, yeah, and you can write to. Oh, should I say it again? Yeah. Oh, that's. Uh, Maybe they'll get it on the screen this time. I don't know. <laughs> it's. it's I, I see you. someone writing to P.O. Box five nine three, in Hoboken, New Jersey. That's right, Hoboken, New Jersey zero seven. 030-0593, and my name is Eddie Fogarty. You can address it to me, or you can call me personally at 201-798-6381. And if I'm not there, my wonderful answering machine will pick up, and you can leave a message, and the rest will be history. All right. There you go. Well, this show went by way too fast, because we just barely have too enough time. Fast. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> We just barely have enough time to say thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Carol, Dave, John. Thank you, Ralph. Hey. Thanks for having us. <laughs> and thanks for and Eddie. inviting Thank us you, into your living room. Thank yeah, you man. Thank thanks for tuning in to Horses Sing None of It. We're going to take it out on a fiddle tune featuring Carol here. Okay. And I'm going to pick up my banjo and do a little thing with him, too. I think we'll do a little ragtime Annie. Four minutes to go, John. <laughs> we got four minutes. <laughs> the, the crew is wondering. They don't have the time to answer. I secret decoder watch for four minutes, Ralph. Yeah, man. I, I agree with you. So we, we might be taking it out of the show on That's this. That's it. This okay. is, this is okay. we're saying goodbye to the audience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Incredible, amazings, and otherwise <laughs> permitted appellations. <laughs>
Howdy folks, I want to tell you about an amazing group, the World Game Institute. They've spent 20 years trying to figure out how to solve all the problems of the Earth, and they put together a chart showing how much it's going to cost. Let's show the chart. On this chart, it shows how to solve these problems in terms of how much money we have to spend. And as you back off the chart, you're going to see that it's a function taken as a function of the world's military budget. It's only about a quarter. So we've got enough resources to solve all these problems, enough education, enough uh, food, enough housing for everybody. And I'd like you to contact the World Game Institute for more information, to be a member, support them, whatever, at this address. World Game Institute, 3215 Ray Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19104. Telephone, 215-387-0220.